So listen, here's the deal. This is what we should do. You should get off the train with me here in Vienna and come check out the town. What? Come on, it'll be fun. All right. Hey, think of it like this. Um, uh, jump ahead 10, 20 years, and you're married. And only your marriage doesn't have that same energy that it used to have. You start to think about all those guys you've met in your life and what might have happened if you picked up with one of them. Let me get my bag. Nine years ago, two strangers met by chance and spent a night in Vienna that ended before sunrise. They are about to meet for the first time since. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Well, I live here in Paris. I wanted to talk to you for so long, you know, then now... Me too. How long do we have? 20 minutes and 30 seconds? No, Let's we go. Got, <laughs> no, we got more than that. Now they have one afternoon to find out if they belong together. I remember that night better than I do entire years. Do you look any different? I do. I'd have to see you naked. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on that boat. Come on, it'll be fun. You don't have time. Oh, God, why don't we exchange phone numbers and stuff? Why don't we do that? That is the path. It was meant to be that way. What? You really believe that? I have these dreams. I'm in the car, and a buddy of mine is driving me downtown, and I'm staring out the window, and I think I see you. What does it mean, the right man? The love of your life? The concept is absurd. The idea that we can only be complete with another person is evil, right? I'm just happy to see you, even if you've become an angry, manic-depressive activist. I still like you. I still enjoy being around you. Like if somebody were to touch me, I would dissolve into molecules. I want to see if you stay together or if you dissolve into molecules. How am I doing? What if you had a second chance with the one that got away?